Knowing how to master the PowerPoint application starts with the basics. And if you're just starting your journey with Microsoft PowerPoint, one of the first things that you'll need to know is how to open a PowerPoint file. That's right, so in this video, I'll be sharing with you everything that you need to know about opening a PowerPoint file. We'll be starting this video off with some of the basics of opening a presentation file. In the latter part of the video, I'll be sharing with you tips on how you can open a PPT file when you don't have PowerPoint installed on your computer. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, this is Shroth from Art of Presentations and my goal on this channel is to help you master the art of presentations. That's right, and I share with you tips on how you can create presentations, how you can design better presentations, and how you can deliver effective presentations. And if that's the kind of content that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you get to know every time we come out with a new video on our channel. But that said, let me move on to my computer screen so that we can get started with the video. Now that we are on my computer screen, let's just start with how to open a new PowerPoint presentation file. To do that, I'll just type in PowerPoint in my computer and open the Microsoft PowerPoint application. And now I'm using a Mac operating system, but if you're using a Windows operating system, it's gonna be quite similar. All you need to do is go to the start button at the bottom left corner of your computer screen and just type in Microsoft PowerPoint and the process is quite the same. Once you've opened the PowerPoint application, you'll be first presented with an option to choose either a blank presentation or you can also choose from one of the themes. Now, using a theme in PowerPoint is a completely different topic for another video. And I'll try my best to create that in a separate video and leave a link in this video as well. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the blank presentation. Once you do that, you'll actually be greeted with a blank presentation file, which actually has one slide and a few options with the menu, a typical PowerPoint look and feel. Now that's how you open a new PowerPoint presentation file. Now let's look at how you can open an existing PowerPoint file. Now there are two things that you can do to open an existing PowerPoint file. The first thing that you need to do is click on the like button of this video. That way, this video will actually reach a lot of people who really need to know how to open a PowerPoint file, just like you do. Now that you've done that, the first way of opening an existing PowerPoint file is to browse to a file folder on your computer where the file is saved and just double clicking on it. I'm gonna open the file folder on my computer where I have a PowerPoint file saved. And there are two things you can do over here. One is right click on the file over here and click on open, or you can just double click on the file and PowerPoint is actually gonna open this presentation file. So that's the first method of opening an existing PowerPoint file from your computer. Now the second method of opening a PowerPoint file is when you already have the PowerPoint application already open on your computer. So let's look at how you can open a PowerPoint file from within an existing PowerPoint application. Let me go back to the blank PowerPoint presentation. Now to open an existing file, existing presentation file from your computer, all you need to do is go on file, click on open. You can do the same thing on your Windows computer as well. All you need to do is click on file and click on open and PowerPoint is actually gonna open a file browser using which you can open a presentation file. You can also use a keyboard shortcut to do that. And the shortcut is control plus O in Windows. And if you're using a Mac computer, you just need to press command plus O. Once you click on open, a new window is gonna open up which will ask you to browse to the location where the file is saved on your computer. All you need to do is select the file and click on open and PowerPoint is gonna do the rest. PowerPoint is simply gonna open this existing file from your computer file folder. So there you have it. Now what if you don't have PowerPoint installed on your computer and you wanna open a PowerPoint file, which is a PPT file, perhaps one of your colleagues or your client has sent you a PPT file and you wanna view that file. What can be done to open and view this file? There are multiple ways you can view a PPT file without PowerPoint on your computer. Let's take a look at how you can do that. The first method of opening a PPT file without PowerPoint is to open it using Google Slides. Google Slides is a great application, it's completely free to use, and I highly recommend to people who are working to create a good presentation, but working on a budget. The only drawback is, you actually need a Google account to operate Google Slides. 
So let's just open the Google Slides and open this presentation using Google Slides. So what you need to do is open slides.google.com. Once you have that open, you need to click on blank presentation. Once you have the pres blank presentation on Google Slides open, click on file, click on open, go to the rightmost option which is upload and then drag and drop the PowerPoint file into this section right here. There are a couple of things that you can do. You can either drag and drop, which I'm going to just open the folder and let me just drag and drop it over here. You see how this blue line border turns out? That's basically Google recognizing that you're about to drop a file in this section. So either you can do that or just click over here on this blue button and browse to the location where you've saved the file to upload the file. For now, I'm just going to use the drag and drop functionality. So I'll go back to the folder. I'll drag and drop the file into this section and Google Slides will automatically upload the file for me. Once the file is done uploading, you will notice that you actually have complete control over what you can edit in the PowerPoint file using Google Slides. Now that's just one method of opening a PowerPoint file without PowerPoint actually being installed on your computer. Another method is actually using Keynote. Now, if you're using a Mac operating system, using Keynote is also actually quite straightforward. All you need to do is just open Keynote on your Mac and then browse to the folder that contains the file. Click on the file and click on open. And this will automatically open the PowerPoint file for you in Keynote. Now, if you don't have Keynote or if you don't have a Google account, there are other ways you can actually use to open a PowerPoint file without actually having to install Microsoft PowerPoint. And some of the other methods include installing other third-party open source softwares such as OpenOffice, LibreOffice, and my personal favorite, WPS Office. Now, while WPS Office is not actually an open source software, but it is pretty amazing. And I'll actually talk about WPS Office in a completely different video. But for now, the options that I've just provided you with will actually help you open a PowerPoint file without even having a PowerPoint application on your computer. I hope you have learned something new on this video. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel and check out some of my other videos and I'll see you in my next video.